Hello, my dear friends. Today, July 21st, 2021, and I'm Viktor Fursov. I'm very pleased to present you these interesting beetles. And these interesting beetles are not very pleasant, because they can be in your kitchen. And they are pests of stored products. And who are them? Usually you can find them in your kitchen with some products, or just you can find them occasionally, surprisingly in your kitchen, if you even you don't have any food in your kitchen or in your house, you suppose to be don't have a food. But they are existing and they are crawling, they are flying everywhere and they are very fragile. And these are drugstore beetles. Latin name Stegobium paniceum. A name is very funny, drugstore beetle or biscuit beetle. It is actually a pest of stored products. The scientific name comes from Latin name, which means bread. So they are living inside bread. Some people suspect that drugstore beetle common name came from tendency to infest herbs as well as drugs and some even some medicine, because they can eat some med dried herbs and medicine. The color is brown and beetles are quite small, about 2 or 3.5 mm long. Well, they have a cylindrical body and they are very fragile. If you take them just with your fingers, so you can crush them very easily. And they are very active, they can fly, they can crawl and they spread everywhere around very quickly. They move very fast, so you can see their, their tendons to go to in the direction of light, because I do this video just in front of the light. So they are crawling to the most lightened place in this direction, somewhere. Actually, how to get rid of drugstore beetles? This is a question. Drugstore beetles, they live inside stored foods and many other items were usually kept in unsecured containers. Actually, kitchens and pantries are very common targets, especially areas prone to spills and crumbs. They can also survive for weeks without any food, so that's a problem. So they can live somewhere and they can appear somewhere occasionally and can find new food and infest it. If pests are not completely removed, they are likely to re-emerge from the hiding places and start their new infestation of new dried, usually, products. We can say, how serious are drugstore beetles? Yes, their common name is derived from insects' activity in infesting items previously common in drugstore infestations. But now drugstores are not very common, so it is reported that these beetles can consume different food, different materials, even, even can penetrate even aluminum foil and paper foil, which is covered around some food. Actually, the main concern with drugstore beetles is that this is a contamination of products they infest. Usually, they are larvae infest and damage different products. The pests do not do the most damage in their larval form, as they leave, eat and excrete waste inside within the products they have infested. What, how you can say that drugs or a beetle ha has infested your products or some materials? Actually, signs of drugs or beetles are adults, these beetles, which are buzzing around or resting on the surfaces. The signs include also holes in the packages where these beetles just emerged. And also some debris which is d deposited next to infested items when the larvae are feeding on some products. It can be difficult to find infestation in other parts of your house only with some products. The flashlight will help you to make this kind of inspection. 
Actually, finally, how to get rid of drugstore beetle? This is a question. Controlling drugstore beetle is possible through very careful inspection. It is important to find anything that we have infested products or materials which are infested by larvae and these beetles and what products or materials these creatures were larvae eating were feeding on them. Incomplete treatment will allow the surviving beetles to reinfest new materials. What you can do? One of the most important drugstore beetle controls is to keep spilled products and old outdated packages items. They like to eat. Actually clean up and throw them away. So do not keep too much materials, too much food inside your house, inside your kitchen. Throw it away. Be sure to clean pantry and cabinet shelves with a vacuum machine, vacuum cleaner. Actually, what do I eat? What do these beetles and their larvae can eat? Drugstore beetles infest many food products, including flour, cereals, spices, chocolates, because they are dried and solid materials and very tasty for them. They also infest some non-food products like books, manuscripts, fur, liver, horns, and also they can damage some books and manuscripts because they can do holes through some paper which is usually can covered or can be nearby of some food materials like dried bread or dry cereals. Drugstore beetles even can be found in some poisonous materials when don't forget about name drugstore like strychnine so they can eat even some dried herbs and drugs materials. Where do they live? They live actually inside these materials. Homeowners often discover adults in the pantry or near the kitchen windows. Because they can infest variety of materials, they can be really become a problem of your house. Adult beetles lay eggs on the, their food. When the larva hatches, larvae eat in and grow in. The larva stage lasts for several months spins a silken cocoon when fully grown. Inside the cocoon, the larva takes more than two weeks to the larva to change to the adult. In a warm climate, drugstore beetles can produce as many as four generations per year. So you can see how many of these beetles can be growing inside some cereals. So, if cereals becoming infested, all of these beetles will be tended, have a tendency to go to the light. So that's why you can find them easily near the window. So, and the main measure without chemis, chemicals, just throw away infested materials. Check your kitchen, check your house. Check drugs, uh, different stores with your materials, because we can eat biscuits, can eat herbarium, can eat collections, entomological collections as well, dried insects, flower cereals, as I said. So food material is very different one. Avoid infestation of this material, throw them away and you will have clean house without any drugstore beetles because actually they do not eat books, do not eat clean manus manuscript without flour and cereals and any spices or any chocolates. They can find your chocolates, old ones somewhere and can eat it very easily. Beetles, little bit, but larvae can eat a lot and then they produce so many adults like here. So take care of your kitchen, of your house, of different materials which are keeping in your house and your kitchen, and you will get rid of these beetles very easily. You will not worry about them at all.
But if you have them, if you have had them, you can write your message, your comment under this video. It will be interesting to know what did you have in your house or Thank kitchen. Thank you for being curious in drugstore or beetles or, or biscuit beetles. If it was interesting for you, press like, write your comments and don't forget to visit my Patreon page to become sponsor or patrons of my channel. So I will tell you more stories about different insects. Some of them were pests, like these drugstore beetles. Some of them were beneficial. And I can give you some advices how to avoid them, how to get rid of them, or maybe how to enjoy some insect collections if you are entomologist or if you like insects to observe them or to get some new information in case of your pleasant education. Thank you for coming to my channel. Press like, write comments and visit my Patreon page. Bye bye! See you soon on my channel. Good luck! See you soon! Hello, my dear friends! If you want to ask any questions about entomology, about insects, how to get rid of some insects inside your house, inside your flat, or maybe in your orchard or garden, welcome to my channel and ask personal, private questions on email. Send your message on my email and I will try to give you detailed advice how to get rid of these insects or maybe they're useful, maybe they're beneficial or maybe they're ir just irritating you and so you do not need to worry about them at all. Ask your private question on my email. But if you want to support my channel, if you want to be private, personal patron, welcome to my Patreon page. Patreon page is just a special page where you can support my channel sending some kind of donation, your private small donation from one euro or one dollar or just one British pound will be very supportive. This is will be kind of motivation will go to for support of my travels, my equipment and to modify my videos about insects and how to get rid of them and how to make different measures for the nature conservation and insects conservation and how to give people just proper, delicate, detailed advance advices. So go to my Patreon and to be my sponsor and I will indicate you as a sponsor, as a patron in the subtitles of my video. It will be a great pleasure to have you as a sponsor. Thank you very much. See you soon you as my subscriber and of course a sponsor on my Patreon page. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye. Basic greetings from Kyiv, the capital for Ukraine. See you soon.